Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something called a monthly makeup basket. Some people do these bi-weekly, but I think that monthly will work better for me. I really like the idea of just sitting down and then picking out what products I want to use for that month and then putting back the ones from the previous month. I think it's just good because I'm going to get a lot more use out of the makeup I have, kind of like a shop my stash kind of situation where I'm just going through and seeing what I haven't used in a while or what I do want to use or maybe I got something new that I really want to try out that month. So I feel like this will be a good way to just rotate through my makeup. I like watching these. I find them so relaxing. So if you guys like this, type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I just wanna know if you guys want me to keep doing these or not, so yes, let me know if you like it. I will link some of my favorite um, people who do bi-weekly or monthly makeup baskets down below. I don't actually have baskets. Um, I have these containers that I got from TJ Maxx. I think one even has the sticker on it. I did do a like to know it post not too long ago where I linked some really similar um, makeup storage things. So I will link that down below as well for you to check out. But you can definitely find some pretty inexpensive makeup storage items at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, home goods, places like that. But let me first show you what I've been working with for the past month. So over here is my Project Pan stuff. This is not changing because I'm still trying to use this stuff up. Let me just say it is so much harder than I initially thought to use up makeup. I really wanted to do like a fall project pan update and fall empties type of thing. It's just been so hard and I use this stuff a few times a week. So it's definitely gonna take a little bit longer to get a Project Pan video up than I initially thought, but that's okay. Just, you know, something I've learned along the way. And now I'm just going to go through this makeup right here, which is kind of like my everyday stuff. And I'm going to put it into two piles. One is going to be the makeup that I'm going to use for November. And then one is going to be the makeup that I'm going to put back. This is all the stuff that I'm going to put back uh, and it makes me really <laughs> kind of sad because I love these Tower 28 glosses so much but I'm just kind of using them too much and I want them to last forever so I'm gonna put these back because I know I have other lip glosses in my collection that I um, want to use. Same with this Rare Beauty uh, Matte Lip Souffle. I love it but I just want to use other ones. Same with these. This is the Glossier, um, what are these called? Gen G in Cake. This is the Just a Tint from Colourpop and then I didn't really use this um, in October. The Tea Time lipstick from Colourpop. So I'm just gonna put that back, gonna rotate those out. The Kosas Sun Show Bronzer, I've been loving and using. Whenever I do my makeup, I put this on. So I've really been loving this. I'm so happy with it. It is actually in my Sephora VIB sale, holiday sale picks. If you do wanna see picks that I recommend from Sephora, I will link that down below. And then I also made a post about holiday sets from Sephora that I have my eye on or that I think are some pretty good deals and some good products. So I will link that down below as well. This Natasha Denona mini nude palette, I got some good use out of and I really enjoyed it. It is very fall. Um, I really like it, but I just want to use up some other palettes. The Glossier Boy Brow and then this M Cosmetics Brow Cream I'm going to put back. And then this ColourPop Flexitarian highlight, I made a little dip in, which is good, you know, got some use out of it, so that's good. I've been enjoying it, but I just want to use another highlight. This Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and Oyster Pearl, I've been loving so, so much, and I kind of want to keep it out, but I also kind of want to put it back so I can use other things. I think I'm gonna put it back for now. This Glossier Stretch Concealer, I'm going to put back. I just have a lot of concealers that I want to go through and make sure that I'm using up, so I'm gonna put that back. And then this M Cosmetics 
what are these called the daydream cushions i've been really enjoying this for those of you who watched my k-beauty video trying out k-beauty i did get a cushion from yes style that i want to use up two because i'm kind of just comparing them both so i've been using this m cosmetics one for the past two weeks ish and i just want to use my other one for a while so this one is going to go back and then this is what i am keeping in my little basket i guess i should call it bin monthly makeup bin i don't know <laughs> but this glossier future do i am going to keep but i think i'm going to switch it out for my full size one because this travel one is just I don't know, I wanna save it for travel. These are the two mascaras I've been using, the M Cosmetics one for my top lashes, and then this Oh Hi Beauty mini mascara for the bottom one. Then I wanna get some use out of this e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then the two lip products I am keeping are the Dior Lip Gloss. I think this is the Dior Addict Stellar Lip Gloss or Stellar Addict. I'm not quite sure. This is in the shade 630 and I love it. Then this is the Ohi Beauty Lip Smudge in Scorpio. I cannot stop using this. It just goes on the lips so nicely. It uh, it's just it's an amazing lipstick and I love the color. This is actually the lip combo that I am wearing today, so I'm keeping these two. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back. All right, this is what we are starting with, and now let's go pick out some makeup for November. All right, so here I have some new makeup from Nabla Cosmetics. I have these two palettes that they sent me, and then this bag full of goodies, which I, it was so amazing when I got this in the mail. I was so excited. I kinda wanna use some of these new things. If you guys would like, I could do a video using all of these Nabla Cosmetics products because I really haven't tried out a lot of them. Glass Skin Finish Powder. Oh, these are both finishing powders. Kind of looks like a highlight to me. I'm kind of interested in this as a highlight. I think I'm going to use this. I think this has some pretty blues in it and stuff. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm trying to think because this is my birthday month as well as Thanksgiving. So I'm just trying to think of like some makeup I'd want to use around that time packaging is really pretty this is the nabla secret palette and i really like that one as well i think i'm going to go with this one the secret palette yeah i'm gonna do that one just play around with it this month okay and then for lip products for november let's see i kind of want to use this m cosmetics lip cushion in venetian rose as well as one of these m cosmetics lip products i think i'm gonna go for for this one in the middle. Actually, maybe I'll pick two. I think these two. These are in the shade Morning Mocha and Rose Nude. Then these two Nabla lip glosses. I kind of want to use one this month to try out. And this more sparkly one is calling my name more than this nude one. Um, let's see, let's see, let's take these out. I kind of want to use the Roman Glasting Water Tint in Vintage Ocean more. Oh, maybe my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I haven't used this in a while. And then we'll do one more. I like having a lot of lip options at my reach just for like different looks and stuff. And then I think I'll do the Glossier Vinylic Lip in Pony. That's a little more cool toned and nothing here is really cool toned. So I think that will be nice. And now let's go over to my main makeup over here. So like I said, I'm going to use this Peach C cushion from my... K-Beauty video. I really liked it when I tried it out the first time, so I want to get some more use out of this. I think I want to get some use out of my Ilia concealer a little bit more. Yeah, I think that should be good, just my Ilia one. I really like this Jelly Dough blusher a lot, so I think I'm going to take this. Maybe one of these ColourPop ones. There's like a nice fall shade. It's a little too pinky. Yeah, I think this mauve one will be nice, and this is in the shade Coast to Coast. So these are gonna be the two blushes. Then to swap out my Kosas bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in Indus Sun. And this is just like a nice neutral 
a contoury bronzy shade. For highlight, I think I'm going to pick this Wet n Wild one, even though I haven't really been using highlight all that much. It would be nice to use up one of these. And then I'm going to use my ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in Waddles. It's kind of like an orangey brown color and it is really pretty, but it's kind of starting to dry out. So I would like to use it before it gets too dry. That's just what that looks like. You can kind of see it getting a little dry in the pan. And then for eyeshadow palettes, hmm, should I use my Tartlet in Bloom? Or I think I'm gonna actually use my M Cosmetics one. I've been loving this a lot. I wanna kind of use it more and test it out more. This is what it looks like. The shades are really pretty, perfect for every day. And I love these shimmer shades, these two right here. They are just phenomenal. Maybe, well, I have the Peach Sea Cushion. Do I need another base product? And then I have my Project Pan one I'm trying to use up. I think I'll stick with those two for now, but I'll pull like another one if I need to later in the month. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put all the new products back into my container. You know what, I forgot I pulled this Nabla one. I really don't need this Wet n Wild one then if I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna put the Wet n Wild one back actually. So these are the products that I'm using for the month of November. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My hair looks crazy. Honestly, I haven't worn makeup that much in the last few weeks. I haven't been inspired to do my makeup. I've just been living the no makeup life, which I think is totally fine, but it's nice to switch out your products and just kind of get inspired again. So these products are really exciting me. So that makes me happy and I can't wait to use them and do my makeup with them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all of the links down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.